Good news, good news, my friends. Before we get into <laughs> before we get into today's episode, um, you know that thing a couple of episodes back that I forgot. Right, I remembered. It's now like three days later. I remembered it. It came to me about four in the morning <laughs> on Sunday night. Wait, I'm not going to lose it again. Right, that episode where I did the intro where I, I became like one of those over-the-top YouTubers. So I'm like, smash that like button, you know, 300,000 likes, you know, totally over-the-top like those YouTubers. It got double the normal likes of the episode. So, you know, as much as I like to take the piss out of said YouTubers, it clearly works. So, smash the like button. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't even, no, I'm just not going to do it. Right, okay. Glad we got that sorted. Little bit of delay. So, houses... Quite tricky to buy houses in Russia when you only speak English and a little bit of basic Finnish, which doesn't really help. And obviously we're in an island north of Japan. So a little bit tricky. So this is the first place I was looking at. It's quite expensive. $95,000 for a bed sit. Well, it's three rooms. Bathroom, bedroom, and then lounge, bar, kitchen. This is the main room. There's the couch facing a wall. I think that must be the TV cabinet. There was one slight problem. Well, there's two slight problems. It's, you know, it's, it's, oh, there's the, there's the TV. Okay. Um, it's, it's a little flat because I was thinking investment purposes. You see, we're on like 1000 after tax, 1,700 quid a week. So we can easily get a mortgage for this, et cetera, et cetera. There's the, so that's the kitchen area. There's my uh, dining table. Um, my favourite bit about this, right? Good old, good old Russia. What they like to do, just to give life a little bit of an edge, is they like to put large electrical appliances next to bathtubs. So our washing machine is right next to, like up against the shower with the shower curtain and the bathtub. I like the tiling. I think that must be the photo, right? The tiling's not all like that a little bit a little bit of damp uh, <laughs> so that's good okay that's the toilet so there's the bedroom oh so that's the bedroom area without the couchy bit in it okay you know it's all right but then it struck me i'm not confident how long we're gonna be here to be honest form his is is just incredibly bad it's so bad i can't get anything to work so i've gone from buying a place to renting a place. This one is $547 a week. I don't know what that is in real money. It's like 400 quidish. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so this is my new apartment. It's right in the center of town. Good location. It's a two rooms apartment for rent with repair. Good. Is that good? Do, is it been repaired or do I need to repair? Nice couch. I'm hoping it's fully furnished. Lovely bit of lino. Which we all... I think lino is the perfect lounge surface um really makes it homely look there's my hallway so i think we can look that's actually a better kitchen to be fair um the bathroom ironing board lovely Ooh. okay uh so it's you know it's perfectly reasonable little bit of damp in the bath just a tiny bit of damp in the bathroom <laughs> Oh, and that, you know, but good storage in the toilet. This is my favourite photo. Love a bit of exposed piping. Gives it that rustic feel to it. Um, I think this might be another washing machine next to the bath. So maybe that's just a Russian thing. Um, but look, good tiling work. So th this is our new place. It's um, two floors. I, I think that's second floor. Um, it's got repair quality four. I'm not sure out of how many or whatever, but that's four's a solid number, I guess. Um, and we're right in the centre of town. So look, perfect. And that allows us to save a lot of money towards our next, whenever we go to a next club or whatever, we can look to buy a house. We'll have money for a deposit and stuff like that. So welcome to our new home. What shall I, where shall I record my videos? I think it's only right that this is where we record the videos on the bog. I think is perfect. Right, let's get into the episode. It's, I've played a few games and it's it's really bad. <laughs> Greetings.
Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. As you can see, it is... Oh, it's it's painful to watch. I have officially dumped the high press system with the offside trap. I knew it was a risk because our quality of our players aren't the best. But I also... And that I was hoping that would be... And early season proved to be the case. I, that was outweighed. The, the mistakes we'd make we'd still get enough chances to win games. Like, we started off the season so brightly, it was all working, we were banging in goals and stuff. And I think we've been discovered a bit. <laughs> a bit. And also, I think because the morale is quite fragile, is that when you start going on a losing streak and then the players are just falling apart. So after the uh, our last game, which was against Scar, we played Volga, lost to them 2-1. Podolyak, who's now our top goal scorer, got the goal. A 0-0 draw, then we lost 2-1. A slip off the right back, getting a goal. It was, it was pretty shit though. Late goal, but they they fully deserved it. Then we lost two. Uh, then we lost. Um, uh, drew nil nil, and then we lost two one. Uh, again, am I looking at the wrong one? Yes, I am. Okay, torpedo. Drew nil nil. So this is where I was like, look, we need to, something needs to change. I'd in these last sort of two or three games, I changed the tactics, the shape slightly. I, I kept the same system, that high press. I'd gone with a DM just to give a bit more security and push the wingers on a little bit with one up top. Um, and still to no real effect. We managed to beat Scar, Kabrosk, 3-2. We went 2-0 down. We didn't deserve it. Um, <laughs> we, we were we're not great. Uh, but Podolyak and Sir Galahad got goals. And then it was a bit tits up. So... At this point, I'm trying different shapes and stuff. And uh, this, we lost 1-0 again. And more than we lost 3-1, Podolyak. So this is where I changed it. I went, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm admitting defeat on the high press. Let's go for a counter-attacking safety first. Try and get some clean sheets and just nick the odd goal. Because that's kind of, as a newly promoted team, is kind of where we're at. But I thought our team was better but we'll find out. And against Tom Tomsk, we lost 1-0, but we were the better team. We created more chances, just didn't put them away. So Galahad has been a bit shit, to be quite frank. Um, but then we scraped a 1-0 win. Danilov with the goal from a set piece. And uh, so here's the table. It's okay. Considering the run we've been on, it's okay. We're, we're five points above relegation. We're only eight points off playoffs. So this season could still go either way. And with that in mind, I've decided to spend all our money. I've gone, fuck it. You gave me that budget for a reason. I'm spending it. So we have three new players coming in at the moment. That's just the moment. Um, and young 19-year-old. I'll show you them officially when we get them in. This is the last two games before the big winter break. So... I thought we'd come back. So this is our tactic. It's now a 4-2-3-1. I wasn't originally playing with the DM, but I've actually decided to go with the flat back four. Like, no boobs whatsoever. This is as flat as you can get. Defensive fullbacks. I'm, I'm, th I'm trying to channel my inner sing the ping. I just want these guys to defend, get the ball, and then hoof it up the lines to the wingers. Um, and playing a cautious, not long ball, but sort of standard... Um, and also, we still counter. I still want to counter and counter quickly. That's how, you know, like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a, is a perfect example at Man United. They are really good. They, well, okay, maybe a bit too optimistic. They're good when they're playing a good team that's attacking them because they are fast at counter attacking. That makes. But when somebody's sitting back, they they're just a bit shit still. So we're playing the counter attacking version of Ollie's. Uh, you know, I could learn from the master, so to speak. We're playing a, a defend hour, a lower line of defence. We're, we're going to get stuck in, um, and a little bit of pressing. So we let them have the ball here. That the whole idea is we let them have the ball, their defence and stuff. Um, I don't want to commit too many men for, but when they get near the halfway line, that's when we go in like tigers. Okay. Not sure if it's going to work. We did pick up a win last time out. I had a word with Sir Galahad and said his form's a bit shit. And he was like, no, mate, I'm playing really well. He had one good game. Um, <laughs> and that was it. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. So, Paul Diak is actually playing as an inside forward. And he's one of our better players. Unfortunately, Slepoff, who's probably our best player this season, is out injured with a twisted ankle. And our young right winger, Aslan, is out injured or suspended. Um, and he's been playing a bit shit anyway. So everybody's been playing a bit shit. Sir Galahad needs a bit more competition. 
So that's one of the players that I'm bringing in. And I'm also going to replace a couple of the players that I brought in because a player like Tolich was an improvement on what we had. But then I realised I could get better players. So we replaced him in the, in the same window, pretty much. So there's a couple of players that we're just going to replace as well. Strengthen the midfield. So we've actually got a bit of depth. And we also need a number 10. But Fatikov is going to fill in for the time being. Right. Chudders and Gerald because... Uh, Matrikov has been utterly shit, so I'm going to get rid of him because he's on high wage as well. So yeah, it's been a it's been a tough time, lads. We're playing who the fudge are we playing? Kimmich. Uh, so mid table mediocrity clash here. It's not the most exciting football, right? But that doesn't really. <laughs> that's the least of our worries at the moment is playing exciting football. We just need to grind out a couple of results. Um, I, like I said, I went with the number 10 instead of the DM. Because we're playing a flat back four, I thought it, it was just a bit too defensive if we used the DM. So that's what that's my thinking. Come on, set piece kings. All right. Oh, this is going to be there. Counter, isn't it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Tugs. Okay. Alan. Alan. Yeah, good save. All right. That doesn't, that's not great. I'm not sure why he was closing him down quite that high up and committing himself as the last defender, like on the halfway line. But hey, that's fine. They just got to take a little bit of time to learn the new tactic. This is where we lose 4-0 and all that I've just said goes out the window. It's nice to see a team not playing in blue or white. It's I appreciate that. All right, come on, Turgs. There we go. Okay. Patronus. All right, into Gerald. Come on, you're our best player, Gerald. I want to see some magic. All right, Turks. He's just he's just going into a corner. It's like we're playing for a nil-nil currently, but it's fine. A little bit of passing. Lovely little header from Sir Galahad. He, he's getting chances. He's, he's got like he's usually getting. Oh, Podolyak, tenth of the season. He's rifled it in. <clears throat> Absolute bullet. He's a legend because he's not that good. And he was one of the originals that was here when we come in. So Pogliak gets on his right foot. The way I'm using him is obviously I'm playing him as an inside forward on attack. I want him to be the main support to the striker. I'm actually playing him a little bit narrower to almost become a two up top when we do counter. That's that's my, that's my thinking. None of this could be true or make any sense or work. Right. But that's what I'm thinking in the head. Okay. 33 minutes in. Come on, Tugs. Chase it. Take him down. Take the yellow. No, you're running past him, mate. <laughs> so you told me not to close down. Oh, that's got to be... Oh, the goalkeeper positioning. What's he doing? Oh, that was just so bad. Look at my defender. That was brilliant. Oh. I don't know why the goalkeeper stepped here. What are you doing there, man? Oh, that's shocking. There's nothing you could do about that. It's just like my goalkeeper just had a brain fart. <sighs> okay, okay. I, I'll be all right with a draw, to be honest, because a draw is too undefeated. And it's an away game. <clears throat> Because this is the problem we've had. We've upgraded most of the first team, but our bench is just terrible. Bad. It is. It's horrific. So January window, we're going to work our magic. We're going to get the new players in. We've got two centre mids coming in. We've got a striker that can also play as the inside forward to cover for Sir Galahad and uh, Podlkov Podlyak, who's just been sent off, isn't he? I swear to God, I swear, what is you absolute bunch of fuckwits? Oh, oh and it's a pen. Didn't even realise it was a pen. Come on. Come on, Turno. Come on, come on, believe. Yes! What a save. Is it hoof it? We'll take that. Oh, no. I just, you know... At least give us an even game. That's stupid sending off. 
Away! Away! That's fine, that's fine. Okay, we just gotta hang on. Tighten up, lads. Frustrated. Woo! We're down to 10 men, right? It's one all with 20 minutes left. I think saying tighten up is... is realistic. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. It's like, okay, we're drawing away from home against the mid-table team. This is a great result. Let's take it. Oh, no, I'm frustrated. Like Fulger. Gerald, come on. You've got the passing range. You're the only one. <laughs> Kiss of death. Wait, here we go. Second time's a charm. Beautiful. That's decent. Galahad. Galahad. Oh, he's just not finishing his chances. He has like one a game. One clear-cut chance every game, pretty much. He gets himself in the good positions and then just can't score. I don't know how he's only got, what, six goals this season? Go on. Hit it. Ooh. Chudders. Okay. Is that another? Okay. What? Okay. Not much we could push forward. You can be frustrated about that as well. No. Oh, tits on a stick. Almost did it then. We almost hung on. That would have been a really good result. Right, Gerald. Lovely. Beautiful. Chudders. Patronus. Hopeful. And or hopeless. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh come on. We're playing with the deep line. <laughs> Why are we still getting beaten with balls over the top? Okay. They had 24 shots and five clear cut chances. Some would say they edged it. But I reckon we could have held on with 10 men there. Oh, it's just so bad. Um, Two weeks wages. What, 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 what? Don't test me. You let yourself down. Short sight. I don't care. I really don't know what a status club. This isn't the last time you hear from me in the matter. Fuck off. I'm not in the fucking mood, mate. I don't care that you're my top score goal scorer. Okay, I'll do a little bit. Let's not get rash. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was bluffing. Right, okay. On to football-y... <laughs> is it football-y... What are they called? Football League Club Scar Kabrovsk. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, come on, boys. Right, where are they? This it's another mid-table clash here, but it's at home. Okay, they've had to row across the sea, so they should be knackered. Right, Poddles is dead, but our right mid's back, so you can go there. You can go there. Can you? <laughs> Can you play football? No, no is the answer. And he is left-footed, but I think he is better option. Mr. Conja. Yes, it's, it's, it's pretty shit, isn't it? It's pretty shit. Let's go Fulgs. Fancy a bit of Fulger action. Right. So I'll write back, back. No. Okay. Same again, boys, because the best team is on the pitch. Pretty much. Right. So Galad, come on, mate. He's improving, though, which is great. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Come on. I, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have even known that Fatikov played in last game. Oh, they're playing with two DMs. Right, aggressive. I'm expecting you to win, you bastards. Right, there we go. Oh, some green, though. Some green. Right, come on. Don't care how we play. I don't care what sort of goal we have to score to get a win. We are just... Get to the break. If we can get three points, that will put us safely in mid-table for the break. Goalkeepers whiffed that one completely. And it's an own goal from the young right winger. Oh, good. Goalkeepers had an absolute... Oh, he is not even close to it. And it just hits Mute Lev. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So everything I love it. I love this game that when something's not working and you know your team's playing bad, it just feels like the world is against you and just random shit. You can start getting random red cards, oh goals, just people doing stupid stuff, and it's just like, oh my god, you're really not helping here, lads. Okay. Other than that, though, they didn't really have any much football, but we didn't have actually a shot on target. Okay. Um. I'm going to move this line just to standard and we are going to go start off the second half balance, just move up a little bit because I feel like we've got good players to... That's maybe that's a bit optimistic, the run at defence. <coughs> right, come on boys. Shot on target. Okay, step one, shot on target. Step one, still... still okay. Okay, decent goal kick. Fulgers there. Just play it. Just play it. The guy behind you that's... Okay, good. Over the top. Ball over the top. Paddy Cruz. Good save. Corner ball. <sighs> ba -boom. Yeah, okay. Savinov. Looks like a poor man's Kevin De Bruyne. And we're 2-0 down. This team's just fallen apart. I can't believe we had such a good start. Not even just scraping results. We're just banging teams. 3-0, 3-1, every game. And now, now it's just horrific. It's just... We shoot ourselves in the foot. We play terribly. Go for it, boys. Maybe we should just have remove all pressing. That just seems so defeatist. Well, I'll get the players. Once we get the players in, I'm still trying to look maybe to sign one or two more. And then we'll look to see what sort of tactic we can make use of them. Come on, Gerald. Has anyone seen Fatikov? Has he touched a football this game? Where is he? Is, he th is that one? Is that Fatty? That's probably... Is that Fatty? There he is. Savinov. Savinov. Just wide. Oh, lads. I'm glad we did win so many games early on because that gave us a cushion to be so shit for this long and be all right still. <laughs> Have we had a shot on target yet? Come on, shot on target, lads. Great. It's, there's just nothing working. Could have just let it gone out, but you know, whatever. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what we play. We haven't had... This is horrific. This is terrible. Yes, we had a throw-in that went to a teammate. Tick that one off. Okay, ball forward. So Galahad, see? Every game, one-on-one. -on -one. Every game. Fucking miss a one-on-one. -on -one. Brilliant. I've got a new striker coming in, and I'm just going to drop Sir Galahad. I don't care what his numbers are. He's playing like a blind man currently. So... And you get you get yourself caught in a in a rut because you have a few bad results, which tanks your the dressing room atmosphere and the morale and stuff like that. It's not even t t too horrific, <clears throat> um, but we just we just we just stuck in a hole, and we're I think we can call ourselves now officially in a relegation battle, and I will. I will bankrupt this club to get out of this. We're already projected to be half a million in debt, but it's Russia, so I'm sure some money will appear from somewhere when we need it. That's what I'm going with. I'm going to spend this money if I can. I'm going to replace a bunch of the players, some of which I already bought in. You know, hold my heads up, hands up. We've got like three months now of fuck allness to do some work, and then we'll be back for the final, oh, what, 12 games of the season. Did I just do... No, it's 13, isn't it? Oh, that's so close. Right, there we go, my friends. It's so bad. So bad, I'm going to go and record a video in my toilet with the mould and the washing machine. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, you bastards. Let's get 100k likes and I'll release a special video at 10pm. I hate that shit. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.